Hi everyone, this is Tamar Atmanta. I'm heading the AI and IoT division for Ingram Micro for Meta Region. We believe in Ingram Micro that technology became crucial in many critical situations. And today, the whole world is facing a big challenge with the threat of COVID-19 coronavirus. So we are working with our vendors and partners to provide some solutions that can con contribute with all the efforts to face this challenge and slow down the spread rate of it. Since time is number one AI Chinese provider today and our solution architect Prasad with Mansoor Adam, the director of the solutions for since time, are explaining to you a very important solution that uses the AI behind the thermal cameras to uh, give touchless body temperature measurements of the human forehead with very high accuracy and attach it to the patient's face recognition even with a mask put on to track him if he is missing in the crowd. Hi everyone, my name is Manzoor Allah. I am the Director of Solutions and Pre-Sales for SenseTime. SenseTime is the largest AI startup in the world with a current valuation of $7.5 billion. We are focused on uh, computer vision. So in simple terms, whatever the eyes can see, the computer can see and do it better. So that's what we believe in. And in today's session, I'm going to talk about uh, the solution that we have to address the greatest challenge of our times, the coronavirus. So we are having a thermal solution, which is going to detect the temperature of a human being. So when a human being comes in front of our solution or bird suite, the temperature gets detected and if it goes beyond a particular level then an alarm goes up so that is the basic premise of the solution let me quickly go through the requirements that we have seen uh, from a customer perspective so this uh, requirements are coming in from different areas like airports train stations bus stations so basically wherever there's a lot of crowd we have uh, our solution applicable in terms of the very basic requirements is uh, to identify the temperature of a person without touching them. So it's a contactless temperature solution. Number two is a lot of people uh, should be able to, we should be able to uh, identify the temperature of a lot of people coming in at the same time. And if there's any uh, temperature beyond the normal level, then an alarm should go up. And also the accuracy level should be in the range of plus or minus 0.3 degrees. So these are some of the basic requirements that we have got. And in terms of the advanced requirements, it is in terms of recognizing people or faces when they're wearing masks. And accuracy should be more than 90 degrees, the 90 percent. Then real-time alert for no masks personally. If people are not wearing masks, then uh, we should be able to detect. So these are some of the additional requirements. I'm going to talk about this in a while, uh, how our solution meets all of these requirements. First, let's understand what is the principle of uh, thermal imaging. So, every body emits electromagnetic waves if its temperature is beyond the absolute zero or minus 273 degrees centigrade. So, similarly, human body also emits these waves and these are captured by thermal cameras and convert these electromagnetic waves or infrared waves into electric signals, which is in turn converted into temperature. For this to be accurate, we use something called a black body, which is nothing but a calibration device for the thermal camera to identify that the temperature is in a particular range. So it is just as a reference point. So you can keep this in mind as we progress. So this is the basic premise of how this solution works. So there is a thermal camera which uh, transfers or converts the heat of a person to uh, temperature. And then there is a black body, which is a device used as a reference point for thermal camera. So this is the premise of the solution. In terms of uh, the uh, topology itself or the architecture, uh, we need a thermal camera and we need a black body. Uh, I've already explained what these two are going to do. And then we have our own proprietary Sense Nebula uh, software and hardware appliance, which acts as a face recognition system, as well as it integrates with the thermal imaging system to identify the temperature of the person standing in front of the camera. So this is a very simple setup. And the whole thing can be connected to a web client where the temperature of the person gets displayed. So this is a very simple architecture. The same thing can be scaled up uh, if there are multiple points. Say, for example, it's a mall and you are picking up this device in multiple places. 
So all of this can be integrated in one place. Uh, we also have open APIs to integrate with different systems already existing in the customer landscape. And we can do different types of reporting. So this is how the integration looks like. There are three main scenarios uh, where our solution is most effective. The first one is we measure the human body temperature in a contactless fashion. So people uh, come in front of the camera, the temperature gets recognized. If the temperature is beyond the permissible 37.5 degrees centigrade, then an alarm goes up and the uh, suitable authority comes in and they take the person for further uh, tests to identify if that person has coronavirus or not. So this is uh, use case number one. Uh, the advantage of this is that our accuracy is uh, in the range of plus or minus 0.3 degree, which has been mandated by the regulatory boards. And also the measurement time is uh, close to 10% per second. So we can do up to 10% per second uh, and everything happens in less than half a second. So it's pretty fast. The second scenario is face recognition high accuracy with masks. So people wearing masks, we can still identify them. Suppose this solution has been implemented in an airport or in a crowded area like a mall, right? So we can identify blacklisted people immediately. We can store up to uh, 300,000 uh, database of pictures from which we can recognize people and uh, throw up alarms even if a person is wearing a mask. So the accuracy of this is more than 90% uh, considering the fact that the person is wearing a mask. So this is the application scenario too. The third scenario is uh, in the worst case where the epidemic is so bad that the government has regulated everybody to wear a mask. In this case, if some people are not wearing a mask, then we can identify uh, immediately that a person is not wearing a mask and an alarm can get generated and suitable action can be taken. So the accuracy rate for this uh, person not wearing a mask is more than 99%. So this is application scenario. Some of the key highlights uh, of our solution is uh, as follows, uh, some of which I've already discussed, but um, uh, all put together. First one is uh, it's a flexible deployment method. We can do a simple uh, deployment as well as we can scale it up uh, to make it for a larger deployment model as well. Next, uh, we have got a very high accuracy. Um, the accuracy is very plus or minus 0.3 degree centigrade, which is as mandated by the regulatory boards. We, third one is we can do face recognition with a mask. So even if a person is wearing a mask, we can do uh, accuracy of more than 90% and uh, using a little base of 300,000 plus. Fourth, the uh, historical records can be traced as people who have already been identified uh, where alarms have been generated and the same information can be used later. We can also do APIs. We have provided open APIs to integrate with other systems uh, in the landscape. And it can be applied to wide scenarios, uh, not only in uh, airports, it can be applied to metros, office buildings, and wherever we have lot people. In terms of product itself, um, we have uh, our uh, proprietary product called Sense Nebula, uh, which is uh, usually used for facial recognition. It's an intelligent temperature measurement and screening terminal. It's based on deep, deep learning uh, technology, which we have developed in house. And along with this, uh, we work with thermal cameras and black bodies. The specifications are given below. So these are the three major items of our solution, which are required. Uh, in terms of deployment, um, it's a fairly straightforward deployment. Uh, there is a thermal camera and there is a black body. A person walks in, the black body is behind the person and the thermal camera, uh, the person faces the thermal camera. And as and when the person walks in, his temperature gets detected and uh, alarm gets generated if there is a, if his temperature is So that's a 